I mean, we both grew up with sci-fi films. It was like a huge part of my childhood. There's always in the back of my head, like creating those cinematic worlds. So the biggest challenge at first was, I think, the world that we had to create there. So working on how the spaceship looks before diving into the story. So for us, it was really, really important to have like a certain physicality of things, people interacting with, with things and in environments that are real. The TV is the centerpiece of the project. If it's off, that's a black thing on the wall. But if it's on, it is a portal to other worlds. The connection between the living room and the other world. The costume is a backstory for the characters. That helps to tell in a few seconds who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. When we were thinking about the choreography in the tunnel, we wanted to be to have the camera as close as possible to the action, meaning that we throw the viewer right in. The camera was great for that, so what we did is we used a very wide angle. You're still able to feel the surrounding around and at the same time really get their emotions and their, their tension. And in the end, it's cool. So you dive into this beautiful, colorful world of the light speed moment. Sony equipment is used also throughout many departments. Obviously, we also used Sony equipment for the shoot, not because we had to, but because we they're just doing good stuff and we, we like to do it. Whenever you go to the cinema, you get lost in the story. What we're doing here is creating a, like the metaphor if you can have the cinema at home, we have achieved our goal.